What's going on guys? Hey, on today's video, let's talk about Arcade 1-Up and the cabs that are possibly coming out uh, th through the rest of the year, maybe beyond, and which cab I might get next, which one maybe you get next. So hey, stick with me and let's go. Alright guys, here we go back again. Welcome to my channel. My name's David. On this channel I love to discuss gaming, whether it's retro or modern, and uh, some cool tech stuff, maybe for your man cave, your home theater, your game room, anything like that. So let's get into it. Uh, today I want to talk about Arcade 1UP and their future releases that are coming this year which ones I might be looking at, and then uh, maybe possibly talk about some that we think are coming or might be coming within the next year, and if it's going to be wait for those. So let's start out, let's see, the new calves, so the new ones that are coming out this year, we know we're supposed to be getting uh, three pinball machines by holiday 2020. Uh, we know a couple of them I can remember off top, one Star Wars, uh, one's Marvel, there's one other one, there's three different versions. Oh, the Mars Attacks, I believe, is the other one. Um, so, one of those is in the running, maybe. Uh, let's see, Golden Axe just came out. They just released it, finally. Uh, Miss Pac-Man's coming out uh, this year. Um, I can't remember if it's already out or not. Marvel vs. Capcom hasn't been released, either one, that one, or the Street Fighter. They, neither one have been released, um, but they should be, of course, before the end of the year. Um, and then we have Big Buck Hunter, and I believe pre-orders... It and Miss Pac-Man, I believe, pre-orders have been released for, for those two cabs. Um, so of those cabs, which ones would I be looking at next? I can pretty much kick off Golden Axe right off the bat. I've got two four-player games. They're fine for me. Room just won't allow for it. I don't really remember. I didn't play it growing up. It's not one that hits that nostalgia factor for me. Uh, it looks great. It looks like a lot of fun. Um, if it was cheaper and I had plenty of room for it, I might consider it just to see what it's about. And if I didn't like it, I could sell it. But it looks like another four-player beat-em-up. And I've got that with Ninja Turtles. And it really and it has the super nostalgia factor for me. And I really don't play it a whole lot. So Golden Axe for me is pretty much out. But uh, I know a lot of guys are excited about it. So there's one that's possible. Um, next would be the Miss Pac-Man. Now Miss Pac-Man definitely ranks in there. If I didn't already have a Pac-Man, it would I wouldn't say it'd be a it would be a first day buy with the bank account being right. Um now what I'm looking to think I might do is replace this Pac-Man with the Miss Pac-Man in 2021. It's got Galaga on it. I believe it's got Dig Dug on it. Uh so I'd love to have that. It's got better games on it than this Pac-Man. I've only played one game on this Pac-Man version. So and Miss Pac-Man, the form factor, looks more like the original arcade. Love the graphics on it. Miss Pac-Man was more fun than Pac-Man to me. So that one's definitely in consideration for next cab. Um, the Marvel vs. Capcoms. Now, they look a lot of fun. And I have discussed before on possibly getting rid of my uh, Mortal Kombat cabinet. Uh, a lot of guys have chimed in on how to get into the dip switches and change the uh, difficulty. Looks kind of, looks daunting on that, but uh, some I might check out. Uh, I know a lot of people wouldn't mind buying it either, so I've got, what, two, I've got two fighting cabs in Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat right now. Don't see a big deal for me getting Marvel vs. Capcom. I need to watch some more gameplay because they look more, they do look interesting, and they're, it's an updated cab, and the graphics look great on it. So that makes it a consideration down the road, maybe. It's not a first day buy for me. It's not, you know, probably within the first couple months buy for me, at least not right now. Now, the machine looks great. Would love to have it, but four or $500 for it right now is just, eh. I'm, I'm starting to spend money on Xbox and PS5s and stuff. That's all coming out. I mean, money can only go so far. I might want to upgrade some home theater stuff and some TVs. So, you know, money only goes so far. But let's not digress here. Big Buck Hunter is another one. This is one I would consider getting just because it's a shooting cab and I have a feeling the modding community is going to jump on it and fix these up into something else. If the technology's there and they're able to do it, that would be pretty cool. Um, if the game itself actually does look kind of fun, but again, it's not really, it's not something that just screams to me and says, hey, buy me, you know, you need Big Buck Hunter. Uh, 
So of all of these, and then of course, like I said, so really to top it off for me, the next machine I would buy is, is going to be a pinball machine, um, unless they're like eight hundred or a thousand dollars or something, which I think talks in the price point are around six hundred, which definitely sounds a lot better. Um, I would definitely look into either the Marvel or the Star Wars version, and if I considered more of a Marvel cab, eventually the fighting cab with Capcom, I think that would match up nicely with the Marvel pinball machine. Might depend on where where stock is and where's that at. I really don't have Mars tax plans. Didn't really screen, you know, reach to me. But you know, either of the other two, or if, if I walked in the store and I had the money, and either one of them was there, of course I pick up probably Marvel first. If it's not there and Star Wars is there, and I've just got that itch, that's fine. But in general, pinball, it seems like it would have good replayability. If friends came over. I think they would jump on a pinball machine and really enjoy playing it and stuff, which that's kind of what I'm about. I'm kind of now about building something that everybody enjoys and would have fun with and something different. I have cabs. I have fighting. I have sports cabs. I have a beat em up cab. A pinball would be a nice addition to kind of round out what I've got going so far. So it would probably rank one on my list of cabs available pretty much now or that we for sure know is coming out by holiday 2020. Next list, I'd say, would probably be Miss Pac-Man. I'd replace this cab, get Miss Pac-Man. It's a better looking machine. Um, I like the form factor better, better games on it. It would definitely be an upgrade. I could sell this one, so it offsets some of that cost. That would be nice. Um, so Miss Pac-Man would definitely be my second choice of them. And then, of course, Marvel and Capcom or Marvel vs. Street Fighter, whichever one uh, I researched more and looked at and liked better and that I could find at a good price point. Um, that'd probably be number three. The other two, I really just don't see it unless down the road, Big Buck Hunter just looks really amazing or I can play it somewhere and check it out in that fact, but I'm not looking to drop another $500 on it right now. I really hope, as and this will kind of uh, segue into the next part of it, is a shooting cab. That would be awesome to have. And I think a lot of friends, they, they like hunting and stuff here. I'm in the great state of Alabama. Hunting's a big thing here, so I could see, like I said, kind of with what I want to go with and trying to add stuff other guys might be interested to or gals would be interested in playing. Big Buck Hunter in this state probably would be one of those uh, cabs that would actually do really well here. Um, also, we, now for y'all, would y'all be looking into any of these machines? What would y'all consider um, getting? Is Or maybe it's another older cabinet. Maybe there's something you missed out on, Golden Tee, the regular Pac-Man, Street Fighter, is there something on the older side maybe that you just you haven't been able to get yet that you'd love to get your hands on? Galaga was that way for me. Now that Galaga's coming out with some of the Miss Pac-Mans, that solves that problem for me, but it was one of the cats I did want to kind of reach back and get, but seeing that it came there, I can, again, instead of paying $300 for a Galaga machine on Best Buy or something or Walmart, I think Walmart has them, I can just swoop in, get rid of this Pac-Man machine, get Miss Pac-Man, I'll have Galaga and Miss Pac-Man, that'd uh, be set, and it saves space. So love that. Um, but hey, yeah, drop me a comment below on any of these cabinets that you'd be looking at getting, uh, or anything other. Do you want an older cab? Is there an older one you want to get? Or one of these newer cabs? Have you pre-ordered or already ordered any of the cabs that are available, whether it's Golden Axe, Big Buck Hunter, oh, excuse me, or Miss Pac-Man? Have you already got one ordered? Do you have one ready? Are you just waiting for that moment before holiday 2020? What's your next cab you're looking into? All right, now I'm going to segue into the future cabs. We all have a pretty good idea that a racing cab is coming out, or supposed to be coming out this year. We're getting later in the year, so I'm kind of losing hope on holiday 2020 that we're going to see the racing cab. Haven't heard a lot from Arcade 1UP. Could be completely wrong. They could bring it out tomorrow and be like, oh, yep, just out of nowhere. Here's a racing cab. Enjoy it. They did it with Super Pac-Man. It just showed up in Costco, basically maybe outrun or pole position or something and I, I think we're laying an outrun just shows up somewhere um now with that said if it's outrun it's really not gonna be a first day buy for me uh now i'd consider it if they make like a nice little sit down type cab and again our modding community could come out and show us how to do cruising world cruising usa one of the fast and the furious ones daytona any of those, if it's a Cruising World or Cruising USA, if somehow by some miracle they come out with a sit-down machine, maybe it's, it looks a little more comfortable in Star Wars, 
with the pedals as Cruising World, Cruising USA maybe combo, then I'm going to be hard pressed to find money somewhere, do something extra to get that. That would be a day one buy for me. Daytona would be very close to that too. But I've just played a lot of Cruising World in USA growing up. So that hits my nostalgia button. So that would be my, if that came out and they said, you know, they came out the next week or before I bought any of these and said, hey, Cruising World, Cruising USA, holiday 2020, basically December 1st or something, we're going to release it. Now I've got to find money because <laughs> that's a day one buy for me personally, as long as it's a sit down and it looks like good cabinet. Really don't care to have a stand up version of it. Um, that's our only option, you know, and it comes out December 1st and three months down the road, that's still all they have, then maybe, but until then. And also shooting cab. I know there hasn't really been any talk of a, I mean, there's talk of it, but no, we, we're, we're kind of getting that soon type talk with the racing cab. Shooting cab, if they brought out House of the Dead, Time Crisis, I've talked about this before, any of those type, it would absolutely be a first day buy. It, you know, so any of those, Area 51 even, just any of those shooting calves like that definitely is a first day buy for me. That's that's where I'm leaning now. I'm more, I'm kind of going to hold them right now that pinball is definitely on the list. But right now money's being spent on the new Xbox uh, Series X, pre-ordered it. So PS5 is coming out here in what, uh, November 12th, I believe? November 10th, one of the two. One of them's, one of them one's the other. Anyway looking to get it that's gonna be another four or five hundred dollar hit so might have to wait on the pinball till next year unless i do really good in christmas lights this year or something but i also have to make sure the wife and the kid are taken care of for christmas first because i kind of got my christmas but anyway um if a shooting cab racing cab and all these came out and they were like december 1st all of these are gonna be available shooting cab would be number one for me especially if it's time crisis or house of the dead um, if it's a racing cabinet and it's not out running pole position, it's Cruising World or Daytona, those would be very close day one buys for me. They would be at the top of my list. And like I said, from the list that's out now, it's definitely going to be probably pinball for me. Definitely, probably. Yeah, like that, don't you? So, yeah, basically, what are y'all looking at? Are you holding now? Is I mean, like I said, mo most of these cabinets out now, either I have them with the Pac-Man, I've got fighting cabinets, so how are you? Are you kind of going to hold them or any of these screaming to you that you've got to buy and you got to have now? Um, let me know in the comments below. Hey, if you like this, go ahead and give me a subscribe. Drop that down below right here. I believe I'm below on the left side. Hit me a subscribe. We're going to bring more Arcade 1 up, more Xbox, PS5 news. Talk about some cool tech that's possibly coming out. Maybe some good lighting for your room or just smart devices or whatever. So go ahead and hit that subscribe for me. It'll really help the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you all for listening and watching. And hey, until we see you on the next one, out.